Any time our employees have to spend working on very manual activities, sort of mindless work, it's not something that you want people to really be spending a lot of time on. My name is Mary Gaffner and I'm an IT project manager here at Qualcomm and I'm the lead for our RPA team. I've been in software applications for a long time, so I'm always hearing about new technologies. We are looking at all different areas of automation, and right now RPA we've been working on for almost two years now. We really are happy to be able to free up people's time so that they can spend more of their work on things that need more thought and more of their expertise. We manage all of the pipeline and we do all of the development and the support of the RPA implementation. It works. I mean, a lot of times, you know, we get new technologies and it's a lot of hype, but RPA has really shown that it's functional and provides value. I'm Jessica Hill Johnson. I'm a senior director of finance at Qualcomm. RPA caught our attention for a few reasons. One, easy to implement and two, it didn't matter which software, which platforms you have, you can put RPA on top of those. Some of the major pitfalls within the accounting area would be if we make any significant errors that impact our financials, that could have an impact on our stock price. So accounting was really kind of the first group to identify processes for automation. My first reaction to RPA is probably the same reaction that everyone has. What is this? When we're talking about robots, what does this look like? And how is this really going to impact us? But once actually seeing what RPA can really do and the potential that it has in the future, it's very powerful. For finance, we've been focusing on those types of activities that are high in volume, what potentially was maybe just manual Excel spreadsheets before, but now actually getting to data a lot faster. Where you're really going to find the best benefit from RPA is to be able to use it across all different business units. We have one individual and he works in our stock area. When he saw a demonstration of RPA for one of our accounting processes, he says, I think that'd be very applicable to a few things that I do and I'd like to put this in place for my process. So he did that. He took training, he learned how to develop RPA for his product and he's actually implemented it. It makes his job richer, it increases his skill set, and he has become our biggest advocate of RPA. Here at Qualcomm, I think the future of RPA is bright. We definitely have a lot of areas uh, in which we can still automate processes. We want to increase the number of processes that are automated, increase our number of bots that are in use. I think definitely in the next few years we'll, we'll be looking to expand the program and also to see what other opportunities we have uh, in other areas of automation. 